Hey guys, what's up? Most of us when we speak about Hey guys, what's up? Most of us when we speak about email marketing automation, we generalize it and say that there are certain email workflows that we need and we start speaking about how we can send welcome emails, how we can start follow-up emails and then we call it email marketing automation. However, there are at least 9 types of email marketing automation workflows that you could set up under normal circumstances. When I say under normal circumstances, I mean it is a given there is no specialization that's happening here there is nothing too complicated that is happening here and people are not too deep in the buying cycle only at the surface level we can think about at least nine email automation workflows that we can set up using any of the workflows tools like zapier make.com or n8n or anything of that sort now why are we talking about this we're talking about this basically because to break that myth but people think email marketing uh, is just about sending drip emails right irrespective of the stage of the marketing cycle or the buyer or, or or whichever stage the buyer is at now in the in the buying cycle you need to understand there are at least nine types of marketing automation uh, uh, e workflows when it comes to email specifically so let's try and understand what these email uh, workflows are so that we are very clear and we can go ahead and create these when we need to create them right so i have put them down here so basically let's assume a workflow of somebody let's let's actually try and summarize activities of of what happens when people visit your website so people subscribe to your newsletter they come to your website they start interacting with your website they visit certain pages they interact with a few products that leaves data and depending upon that you can go ahead and if they have not done anything you can send them a reminder if they have added them to the cart and they have not done anything you can send them an abandoned cart email if they have made a purchase you can go ahead and personalize it further and pitch more products to them but then you can say okay that, that is three workflows what else is needed right so let us look at what situations can arise and as i said this is not an exhaustive list it can go ahead and and it can go very deep depending upon the stage that we are at so basically if you look at this workflow on the left hand side which is the y axis i have mentioned the kind of workflows these fall under and on the right hand side you will see on in the next column you will see the activities that the user engages in and uh, how those can be classified into different workflows so first things first u is the user s is the system or or the business automation system now a user subscribe to the newsletter the system sends a welcome email because he's a first time visitor now once that helps this is called as a subscription workflow because somebody has subscribed to your newsletter you go ahead and send them a welcome email thank you so much for coming welcome this is what we do blah 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 to know about this you can visit this link that link whatever right and the second thing is if he has performed certain actions whether he has viewed something purchased something bought something then a reminder goes out saying which are called as behavioral workflows which means depending upon his behavior we go ahead and send the most appropriate email if he's constantly looking at the shoes section on the website we know that he's interested in that or maybe something else is bothering him so we send those workflow emails or behavioral workflow emails where we ask him do you need some more help with it now then send i mean that sends google that that goes ahead and sends the behavioral uh, emails which are most fit for him to convert or to proceed in the buying cycle the third situation here is he shows uh, i mean he shows interest in specific terms like i said he shows interest in his shoes section on the website and we try and delve deep we send him to a workflow we send or back and forth or even automations in terms of certain drip activities if he does this this has to happen if he does this this has to happen so on so forth so those are called as drip workflows now he is not active but suddenly he comes back after some time he is visiting after 3 months to the website then we send him a welcome back email welcome back we will give you a 100 uh, or or a 1 dollar 2 dollar discount voucher on your next purchase so this is a welcome back email workflow that you can go ahead and decide then you have abandoned cart flow where he has added something to the cart but he's not doing anything about it you can go ahead and send abandoned cart workflow emails with a 5% discount or a 10% discount now then you have time delay a user signs up with you you will not send a reminder or you will not do anything with him for the first 24 hours then you wait for some time and then automated reminder goes out so these are time delay workflows then you have first reminder or a first follow up right now he has done something you you want to frequently follow up and touch base with him so those are follow up emails that we engage with 
you pitch somebody a, a, a product or a service they have not responded so you pitch, you follow up with them until you hear anything from them right so you will not be pushy or greed but these are called as follow up workflows now once when there are certain interactions that are happening you can go ahead and send very very personalized emails which are specifically talking about the specific product type the price the category and then you have you you have mapped their workflows their their behavioral flows and you have you have more data to act upon them and then you can go very very deep in personalization where you spend specific emails for their specific needs activities or behaviors that they have exhibited so that is called as a personalized recommendation workflow so this is what happens in your amazon's case and netflix's case right so all in all we have about nine kinds of workflow emails uh, or email workflows that we can speak about when we speak about email marketing automation right so that's about it but if you have to take like a typical example and you may be asking me what are the tools which are involved to get this done so most of the times it is not so much about the tools as much as it is about the product and and the process uh, so if you really are interested in understanding what kind of product uh, helps uh, or what kind of product do i need to go ahead and sign up for or buy a subscription to go ahead to do that let me put together a simple scenario for you okay this is much better so anything that we are talking about and we have taken e-commerce as an example in this case not for any specific reason but just that e-commerce gives you many more situations and uh, uh hypothetical situations where you can where you can look at the broader picture of things right so basically if you're talking about an e-commerce product uh, that we have and then we're trying to sell that product so how would all these things look like first you will implement email marketing with a tool like klaviyo klaviyo is one of the best tools and we have a a, a complete uh, workflow i mean uh, end to end workflow that is coming on uh, klaviyo for uh, going ahead and making sure that we understand everything about personalization with ai segmentation through klaviyo right now you link your shopify store or or your woocommerce store with a platform like klaviyo when you have that there is data that flows between klaviyo and your site shopping site now so once you have data flowing in those data can be segmented using different behaviors on klaviyo based upon people who visited for the first time people who repeat purchases people who interact with certain category people who demonstrated certain behavior so you break it down into the segments now you break it down into segments and if you look at your screens you will see customized welcome series for new subscribers there's a set of people who have come to the site for the first time so how would you do uh, uh, how would you greet them so how would you deal with them you would greet them right so you would send them a welcome email saying that we are so and so this is what we do blah 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 as a first time visitor you can go ahead and save this let's say uh, $20 coupon that you can redeem on your next purchase right and you also give them a code now they are they have something to look forward to right so once that is that done then you have a set of people who added products onto their cart but they have done nothing about it so which are set up abandoned cart reminders so you will go ahead and have these people sign up for your abandoned cart uh, i mean people who have added products to the cart have done nothing will receive these emails for probably giving a 5% discount or for probably if you add one more and if you buy a minimum of let's say $300 you can get, go ahead and get a 10% discount any of those crazy offers that you can think of right now the third thing is personalized email products with recommendations based upon their behaviors blah 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 you can classify them and send them very very personalized emails depending upon the stage that they're at using a tool like klaviyo then you have promote loyalty program after a second purchase now they have made two purchases and now you want to make them loyal so you give them a coupon or a loyalty coupon or a loyalty discounts etc now customize newsletter for i mean customize welcome series for new subscribers this engage this is for people who engage for the first time and convert to first time buyers then it helps in uh, for abandoned cart emails it helps in completion of the purchase personalized emails it helps in increases increasing customer engagement and sales promoting a loyalty program helps in incentivizing repeat purchases and drive loyalty among those people so all in all all these factors contribute to boosting the sales for my business irrespective of the product or uh, the uh, uh, the service that they're trying to sell right so basically this is how you would go ahead and look at email marketing automation not just sending up one email uh, a drip workflow and calling it email or marketing automation so that's about it thank you so much if you have any questions you know what to do cheers